in there. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Winning. Winning, 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 winning. And they stay there. Hey guys, it's Tamika time. I took a break from all the Oscar buzz just to record my video. This is my Jersey Shore season three, episode nine recap. The show opens up with Snooki in bed with a guy, the one that she hooked up with last week. She keeps saying that he's the worst cuddler. Snooki kicked this dude out of the house. She decides to call another guy that she hooked up with a few weeks ago named Johnny. So she makes a date with him, says, you know, four o'clock, come pick me up. In the meantime, she's telling Jay Wild that, oh yes, I hooked up last night, my vagina hurts. I don't know why she's sharing that her vagina hurts. Pauly D is waking up the situation and Dina so they can go to work and he's screaming at them. He's saying, cabs are here, cabs are here. Dina had to get up early and go to work. She was literally standing there, not doing anything, looking like a zombie. Pauly D, Vinny, and Dina decide to take an ice cream break and they went walking along the boardwalk. They played one of those games where you throw the ball into the bucket and you win a prize. They ended up spending $100. They lucked out. They bought a bike for 100 bucks. It was a little motorcycle thing. It was for Pauly D's birthday and he was all excited. The guys carried the little motorcycle back to work <laughs> and they kept saying, well, what is our boss gonna say? Who really cares? That guy's a jerk anyway. Ron's been stressed ever since Sammy left the house. So he decides to call his dad. So his dad can, you know, help him through the, the rough patch that he's going through of heartbreak. When they introduced Ron's dad, Twitter exploded. They kept saying that he looked like a 70s porn guy with his mustache. I thought he would be just like him, a big old gorilla juice head. Instead, he's just a little skinny guy with shaven legs. Ron's dad gave him advice and just told him to stay. Stick it out, just get through this. Pauly D brings the little bike motorcycle thing back to the house and everyone has a blast. Even big old Ron gets on the bike and he's laughing, giggling, and everyone's taking a turn. When Dina goes to ride the bike, they say, oh, out of gas. It's 4.30, Snooki's still not on her date. The guy stood her up. She kept leaving voice messages saying, I don't like talking to your voicemail. Jay Wow decides that she wants to help her friend out, calls her new boyfriend, Roger and see if he heard anything. It turns out Snooki slept with two cousins and a friend of a friend or something. I didn't know that Jersey Shore was that small. It's been three episodes and their toilets are still clogged. I don't know why Vinny is taking it upon himself to fix this bathroom. He did say one funny thing during this. He said that he knows how to lay down the pipe and run the pipe. As everyone's getting ready to go to a new club, it's called Bamboo, Snooki's moping around because all of the cast members are making fun of her about sleeping with cousins and a friend. And she just doesn't understand why Vinny won't sleep with her even though he brings grenades in the house and he sleeps with girls and she's all moping around and wah, wah, wah. Vinny apologizes. It was kind of a sweet moment. Bamboo's the new hot spot. Everyone's fist pumping, breaking it down. Vinny and Snooki, they look so cute together. He's kissing her face and she's being all playful. They just need to hook up or just do something and just get the tension to get it out. Jay Wow is on the other side of the club. A bunch of guys are talking to her and they're hitting on her. One guy goes, oh man, nah, don't hit on her. She knows Roger and she's like, yes, I'm head over heels for him. She says that she doesn't want to do a snooky and basically sleep with friends of friends or cousins or relatives. The night is over, everyone gets back to the house. Dina is a slopopotamus. She's trying to sit down and she fell down. Jay Wow gets in the bed with her shoes on. <laughs> Everybody's tipsy. I don't know how this happened, but Dina's head ended up in Pauly D's lap on the couch. Vinny went to go hook up with Snooki. Snooki just wanted to cuddle. She didn't want to bang. She kicked him out of his own bed. Ron calls Sam and he's asking her, you know, can we be friends? What about a relationship? And she basically says, no, I can't be with you. We can be friends. Meanwhile, the little meatballs, I didn't call them a meatball. They call themselves a meatball. They're taking marshmallows and sticking them all over the house. I don't know why they're continuing this prank. It's just, oh, they need to stop. The situation came up with the best idea for a prank. He gets off of the phone with his sister and because the girls are screaming, we need to take a cab, we wanna go somewhere. Get off the phone, Mike. He hangs up and he calls a cab and he, <laughs> he tells the cab to send them to Times Square. Mind you, they're in New Jersey. He's sending them to New York City. 
The girls think that they're going to a restaurant in Jersey. He tells the cabbie to pretend like they're going to the restaurant. And if the girls ask, just say, oh no, we have to go a different way. The guys are gonna go to the restaurant. Of course, Mike is taking his sweet time. He has to wash his face, he's gonna shave. And the guys are looking at their watches saying, come on, man, and they're screaming out, Mike, let's go, let's go. And they were like, bump this, we gotta go. So Mike gets fresh to death and <laughs> he goes downstairs and no one's there. So sad. He asked Jay Wow where everyone was and she said, oh, they left. He was pissed. The situation picks up one of Jay Wow's dogs and he's talking to it and kissing it and saying, oh, they left me, blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, Dina and Snooki are still on the turnpike and they're asking the cab driver if he wants to see their vagina or their boobs. Do you think I'm sexy? And Dina's got a nasty scab on her leg. Oh. The situation decides to go out and get his own food. He asks Jay Wild to give him a lift to this restaurant and he comes back with bags of food and he spreads it out on the table and he's eating by himself. It was kind of sad to see him all alone. The guys are having the biggest meal ever. One plate can feed all four guys and they're just stuffing their face and saying, how oh, this is so good and this is the best food. Ron is sweating while he's eating. I noticed that he always sweats when he eats. Unfortunately, Sam's coming back to the shore house. They show her, her mom, and her sister just talking and they're giving her advice. Why does she have to come back? As soon as I saw her, I remember twittering, my mood just went down. She just sucked the life out of me while watching this show. No one wants her back. No one on Twitter, no one on Facebook, no one in the house even. Ron doesn't even want Sammy in the house. He just wants to settle everything and apologize. Ron was so happy riding the little motorcycle. They said he looked like a monkey, uh, not a monkey, a bear. <laughs> a bear at a circus, ride a little bike or something, but he's happy. That's the most important part. He can be the old Ron, you know, the fist pumping Ron that we know. It's probably been at least a half hour through this cab ride and <laughs> Either Snooki or Dina realizes that they see New York City. It's a long ride from the Jersey Shore. It's not a few blocks away. It's a ride. It's another state. No, oh, I don't get it. I don't get why these girls just, they didn't notice. Once they did notice, they started freaking out and screaming and telling the cabbie, please, please take us back. These girls were acting like they got kidnapped. They ended up going to a liquor store, grabbing some booze, and heading back to the shore. The situation is back at the house. He's all full from his big meal, and he's waiting for the guys to come back to the house. They one by one walk in, about to pass out from all the food they ate, carrying leftovers. The guys are sorta avoiding Mike. They wanted to teach him a lesson for taking so long to get ready. At the same time, Snooki and Dina get back to the house and they're rowdy and they're pretending like they had a great time, telling Mike they, they went to a club. Everything timed out perfectly. The guys came back from the restaurant, the girls came back from New York City, everyone's in the kitchen, and who walks in? Sam. Everyone says hi to Sam and tell her how beautiful she looks, and oh, hi, hey, we missed you. Ron just looks at her and leaves the room. And that's how the show ended. Can't wait to see you next week. I hope everyone has been enjoying my video. I'm glad to be back on track. It's been a bit difficult to keep doing the videos every week, but I love doing it. It's so much fun and I love watching the Jersey Shore. I'd like to give Twitter shout outs to Two For One, Patrice C, SK Dickers, Shoe Booty, and Kizzy. A special shout out goes to Kelly and Brett for texting during the show. And I wanna give an extra special shout out to some of my YouTube viewers. R Pouncy 14, Sophia Lejovitis, and Young Shifter. Thank you guys for watching. See you next week.